Hi ladies, welcome back. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Drea. Um, today's video will consist of what my NorCal trips look like. So right now, today, it's Friday, January 31st. It is just before 10 p.m. I'm gonna go to sleep, wake up at about 3.30, head out by 4, and my first stop should be five hours from then. So I should be arriving to my first stop around 9 a.m. And then I'll have uh, nine more installs after that. My last one should be about 5 p.m. I'll get to rest for the rest of the night. Start again on Sunday and I'll have 10 more installs as I work my way back down to Orange County. And <clears throat> yeah, I'm excited to show you girls what an ass kicking NorCal trips can be, but it's very fast paced overall. I got to listen to a lot of Grey's Anatomy and yeah, usually the day before the trip I load and then as the trip um, goes on, like I'm unloading. So typically the last day or the day after, I'm so freaking sore aside from beyond exhausted. Um, so yeah, uh, keep on watching and I will show you girls what a NorCal trip really is like. Good morning ladies. So it's currently about to be 5 in the morning. I woke up around 3.30 this morning and I realized my first install actually wasn't until 10.30. So I got a whole extra hour and a half of sleep, luckily. So I'm about to get ready real quick and head on out. I'm still technically 30 minutes early but better safe than sorry. So I'm gonna start getting ready and then we'll get going. All right, ladies, so it is 5.20. I'm about to head out. I should be to my first location just before 10.30, so it'll take about five hours, and then I'll have 10 more after that. So let's do this. Hey guys, just did my first install. I'm about to head to the other one, which is 10 minutes away. And then the next one is about 35. So I'm gonna probably do a little break after the second one because I do need to gas up again and then head on over to the third one. So 
let's do this. All right, I just did drop off number two. I am about like 15 minutes ahead of schedule. So I'm really gonna take a quick moment to do a, a food stop, pee stop, and then head on over to the next one, which is 33 minutes away. So, I mean, we're getting somewhere. I already technically got rid of three because the first drop off was two. So, 17 more to go. Hi ladies, just did my third drop off. I'm about to head to the fourth one, which is in San Jose. And then I'll only have six more for today. So, let's do this. All right ladies, so I'm at my fourth stop. I normally text my customers prior to heading to them, just to give them a heads up, but I texted this customer about 30 minutes ago, and as I was arriving, she still hadn't texted back, so I texted her one more time, she didn't text back, I called her, she doesn't answer, so I'm gonna give it about like 10-15 minutes. Unfortunately, it's a common thing to happen, where there's like no communication the day of. Um, typically, I wait um, like 10-15 minutes and then I have to like move to the next one. Unfortunately, I can't like not keep moving because someone doesn't answer. But considering I'm in NorCal, it's an even harder choice to like just leave. Especially because now I have to like keep taking her vanity out just to get to the next vanity zender. So I'm hoping she answers. I don't understand what the issue is, but I was on track with all my installs and it's about to hold me back. So I'll keep you girls posted on how long it takes. It's currently 12.27. So we'll see how this goes. All right, ladies, so it is now 12.45. I arrived at 12.27. Her schedule time was 12.30. Um, and I unfortunately can only wait up to 15 minutes before I have to keep moving. So I called her, she didn't answer twice or three times. Let's try to give her one more call. But I'm just so confused because it's not like a house or apartment. So I don't know exactly like where the location is. And the address specifies like a space number, but there's no such thing, so. The thing that sucks about this is that the space could have been used for someone else's order and now every time I go to the vanities that like I have to go to I have to take this frame out and it opens up the chances to basically scratch the frame with so much movement so mm, this sucks. My next install is about 13 minutes away so I'm gonna just keep it moving. I'll keep you girls posted. And so I'm at my fifth install. The fourth one never responded, so I had to take off. And apparently, oh my gosh. Um, apparently, the fifth install, she wasn't gonna be home, so she was gonna have someone else meet me here like she gave me a i don't know what location but now it turns out that person's not here and i have to wait for them to get here so i got you guys oh i'll leave it at that no show is calling me so let's see hello yes yes hi oh my god Jaya. i'm just seeing this message right now hi I'm sorry? Hello? Hi, are you still around? I came to the next one, which is about like 10 minutes away from you. Okay, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I had a drink. I ran out last night, so the bitch, this bitch is hung over as fuck. So I just see my messages right now. Um, if you want, you can just drop it off there because I'm not even home. You can just drop it off there though. Do, or do I need to sign anything or? Well, no, but the location I went to was like uh -huh. a cantina, so. It's what? It was like a cantina, like a bar. 
Oh, no, no, no. Uh, I live in apartments. Let me resend you my address. Maybe you don't have to collect one. Let me resend well, you a break. Well, where, where are you, though? Because I can't turn back. Like, I still have, like, six more to go. Uh -huh. So I don't know if you can meet me at one of my next installs. Where, where are you at? I am right now heading towards... I'm trying to see if I have multiple... So my next one is still in San Jose area, but it's a little more north. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I'm on West, West San Jose. You don't have um, any more, like, deliveries this way? No, I'm only going, like, up north and then working my way to, like, San Fran. And then I have to go towards Sacramento tomorrow and then back down the five. <clears throat> uh, okay. So how should we do this then? I mean, I don't, I don't know. I, I texted, like, 30 minutes before and I waited an extra 15 minutes. Um, I don't know if you want to meet me later this evening in Richmond. Oh, no, I'm not going to Richmond. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I already have this customer as well that she's not showing up, so I'm already 30 minutes behind now. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, I mean, just let me know what you want to do, but I'm not driving to Richmond, I'm just going to be honest. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, unless you can meet me on my next install still within San Jose, but it's like you'd have to make it there by the time I make it there. Mm -hmm. Let me see. The next one is... You can't just drop it off, like, when you go back to um, Sacramento? Right, like, Sacramento is, like, two hours from here. Yeah, I know, but like when you, when, because you said you're going to head back to Sacramento, so do you think you can drop it off like before you head back over there? No, so right now I'm working my way up to Richmond, and then from Richmond, my installs are tomorrow in like near, back, oh, sorry, near Napa and down to like Sacramento, and then I, I'm going through the five back to Orange County. So I'm not coming back to this area. <clears throat> mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, can I give you like the location I'm nearby, see if you can meet me there? But I'm like, it's only 10 minutes from here, so I just don't know how close it's to you. Mm -mm. Mm, it looks like it's near Berkeley Way. Just send me the address and I'll see if it's nearby. Mm, okay. I'll send you a location. Wow. Okay, so the fifth one just got hers. <sighs> I'm so annoyed, guys. Like, literally. It's probably like nothing to you guys, but I could cry because I'm huge on like staying on schedule <sighs> and just, I don't know. So, because I'm nice, I'm going to go out of my way and drop it off at a different location for the person that was on no show for a horrible excuse. And I'm going to push myself back about 30 minutes to my customers who would probably show up on time. I'm so annoyed. I'll let you guys know once I finish my sixth one. So, so I just dropped off to the no-show. I went to a different location that she was apparently at. I am now 40 minutes late. Sorry, people are doing some weird stuff in traffic. But I am now 40 minutes late to my install that was supposed to be at 1.15. And late to everything else, of course. And I'm tired and I'm hungry. And I'm so annoyed. But uh, whatever. On to the next one, which is five minutes away. Alright, guys. So I just dropped off the sixth one. It was actually a customer that I've met before. Between her and her sisters and friends, they have five of my friends, so I appreciate them and they were super patient with me, so yeah. I'm on to the next one, which is in San Mateo area, which is about 30 minutes, which truly now I'm like super freaking late, but I just did my seventh one. I don't know, I lost count at this point, but I'm currently in San Mateo heading to San Fran and then I believe my last one is in Richmond. Ignore the fact that I'm not listening to the safety instructions. Um, but yeah, I think I have two more.
have three more. Okay, well, I'll keep you girls posted. It is currently 3.06, so we're going on to almost 12 hours. And I have an eight. <laughs> All right, so I just finished my eighth install. Drop off in San Fran. I'm heading to Richmond or Richmond, however you say it. And then my last one is in Vallejo. I'm starving, you guys. You don't even know. I'm really debating if I should stop by Starbucks and get like a little coffee and snack because I'm pretty tired. Um, but I'm already running late. My last install was supposed to be at about 4 and I'm at my second to last at almost 5. So, I just don't want to make them wait any longer and the longer I take, the longer it takes for me to eat once I finish. So, I don't know what to do. But my next stop is 45 minutes away, so. Alright ladies, so I just finished my ninth install. I am 20 minutes away from the last one. And then I am done for today. So I am exhausted. It is currently 4.50. So I've been doing this for 12 hours now. Exhausted and so hungry. I haven't had breakfast, but I just want to finish and then once I'm finished, I can worry about eating. But just 20 more minutes to go, guys. Almost there. All right, ladies, I did it. I just left my last one. I was basically an hour late after all she was only about 25 minutes from my previous install but i'm done i'm so excited i ended up not in the area i originally thought i was gonna end up so i guess i'm gonna head closer to tomorrow's location after i grab some food right now and then get myself a room and call it a night so there you have it oh my god Day one complete. All right, ladies, I finally made it to my destination. This is the area that I'm supposed to start with drop-offs tomorrow. I finally got some food. It's now 7 p.m. And I got some Chinese food. I don't know why. I'd been craving it a lot today, so I figured why not. So I'm going to eat real quick in the car. That way I can just get to my room and go to sleep <laughs> so there you guys have it once again day one is complete so i'll see you guys for tomorrow